Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with our Mall Challenge. This is episode 5. Last time we left off, pretty rough spot. We uh, have a bite on our left arm we still got to deal with, a little bit of an infection there. We're frost nip on the mouth, we're chilly, pain. We have a stimulant, I'm not sure what that was caused by. Maybe caffeine. And yeah, so we got to deal with this wound. That's like the number one most important thing. And that's the sad part is it really can't go anywhere. So I know pharmacies will probably definitely have what I need. Um, if I had something that I could heat up, um, you know, if I had like a lighter and I could heat up my blade, then I could go ahead and close the wound that way. But we do need to keep looking through to try to find stuff. Maybe this motel will have something I need. It's something we've definitely still got to do. Somebody said that E. Okay, they were right. So you can actually pry doors with E. Okay, thanks for that tip. That's an awesome tip. I did not know that. I'm surprised I didn't know that, but that's uh, good to know that I could just use E to pry on things. Yeah, I would really like to find, like, anything. A lighter. There's got to be a lighter. Okay, hazmat zombie. Let's get him up in here. Torso encumbrance throws you off balance. Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. What are... Long sleeve shirt, pants, light jacket, and the military rucksack. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, this zombie's gonna keep caught up. Here's what I'm hoping. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Give me. Okay, we're sprinting. Okay, I did look up the sprint key, thank goodness. <laughs> A lot of you guys are probably like, oh my god, what are you doing? Run. I did look up the sprint key. I just didn't want to use it just yet. Not until I knew we were hopeless. Okay, so, motel is a no go. And we can't go into that swamp. We do know there's a couple towns nearby that are not very close. There's this town down here. It does have a gun store. Number one thing we really need right now. Uh, uh, antibiotics. This store has this has a pharmacy actually in the outskirts of town. I say we head back towards the road. We can stop sprinting now. Let's head back towards the road. Take the road down and we'll try to cut across and get to the pharmacy. It's cold. We're definitely going to get tired at some point. You've got to be kidding me. We'll lose him in the woods. We are very, very cold right now. We're very cold. It is freezing out. We need to get shelter or we're going to die. But we know that the motel is not an option. So biggest thing I could do. Okay, we're going to turn sprint off again. We want to try to conserve our stamina as much as possible. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we're not going to be able to get away with him without running. Okay, we are going to try to lose him through the swamp a little bit. I do need to be careful. Just enough to get back to the road, which is right here. Okay. Okay, we can turn sprint off. Running, that is uh, quite the nifty feature. That's experimental, by the way. You can't, I don't believe you can get that in the stable. Okay, if we get inside this car, can we warm up a little bit? Oh boy, a little bit. Oop. Not much. Okay. Oh, this has been a... This has been a rough playthrough. 
I'll say that it's been a rough playthrough. Starting the the mall really uh, was rough on us. Okay, chew some gum. Okay, let me get something to drink. Clean water would be good right now. We're very tired. Pain, uh, not good. Pop two aspirin, that should help a little bit. Still infected. I don't know if we're going to be able to deal with it in time. Uh, we know we can't head to the houses, but I'm hoping that if we get down to this part like right here, we'll cut all the way across, hit the evac shelter real quick, and then drop down into the pharmacy. We are very tired. Uh, I mean, you could wait in the car, but we're kind of cold. We don't have anything to start a fire with. Uh, we've yet to find anything. We're very chilly. Um, we've got frost nip on our mouth. How long until morning? It's 2.16 a.m. I wish I had something to start a fire with. Anything. I've got a candle. I've got flashlights. They're not going to help right now. Um, is it possible for me to craft a fire? Where's crafting? It, it's, it's, uh, it might be a possibility. What would it be under? Probably here, if anything. Tools. No, it doesn't look like it. I would imagine it would be like a, a some twigs or something, because that's what I'm wondering, if you can like start a fire. We actually can craft some stuff to warm us up. Okay, let's see what's cold right now. Our torso, our head, our mouth still, even though we have a bandana on, our arms. I don't have any... I'd have to turn a flashlight on. That may not be the best idea. A torch. I just need a heavy stick. I actually do have lamp oil and a rag. What do I light it with though? When lit, produces amount of light. You need a lighter or matches to light it. Not gonna work. Check. Okay. Well, we have to keep moving. Wind resistant clothing for my head. I can't, I gotta keep moving. We might be cold, but what else are we gonna do? We're not gonna survive if I don't move. We're gonna die if we just sit in that car. I know it's colder out here, but yeah, it's a lot. It's considerably colder out here. We could head back to the mall. That might be my best option for now. Um, I don't necessarily know like a perfectly safe area to be in. We could try to cut it across the field. Ah, uh, let's just go for it. If we die, we die. Wow. Okay, running it is. Yeah, if we die because we got cold, then so be it. Um, I It's a possibility. We might get hypothermia, start getting frostbit all over. But you know what? We're going to make a beeline to the evac shelter. Okay. Okay, we'll stop running. Yep, definitely cold. We're going for it. Left arm aches. That's from the... Oh, the infection set in. I'll need to... I can't save it now. The deep wound. Now I'm actually infected. Yep. Um, antibiotics should still clean it up. We just got to get antibiotics. If only I had like a lighter or something, I'd start a fire. I just... You know, it's funny too because lighter is like the... First thing I usually find in this game, and I've had no luck with it on this particular run through. We're almost at the evac shelter. I'm just making a beeline for it. I'm not even going to bother looking to see how bad we're doing right now. There's no point in checking. If it's bad, it's bad. I'm sure it's really bad. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Inside. Okay. We might be able to warm up a little bit. Is there a jacket or something? Emergency jacket, folded emergency blanket. We're definitely going to take that. Let's go ahead and put the emergency jacket on right now. That should help us warm up a little bit, and it did. We're still chilly. 
or nauseous because we're infected. But other than that, we're going ahead and we're going to warm up a little bit. Oh boy, we hit the mother load, except they're zombies. Okay, that's a pretty big deal. However, that zombie's definitely going to get out soon. I don't know how many zombies are nearby. And I don't feel comfortable sleeping in here knowing that zombie is in here. I'm closing there so he can't see me. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to wield our semi-automatic pistol. I'm going to drop anything that might be hurting my encumbrance. We know the backpack's probably not helping. Let's go ahead and drop it. For now, the military rucksack. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, take some aspirin. We're very tired. What's wrong with these? Um, okay, we're, we're very sick because we're infected. The pharmacy's nearby, but there might be antibiotics down here too. Okay, we might die. You know, I don't need to do this. I could make a beeline for the pharmacy. There might have been antibiotics down there. I'm wondering if the pistol's going to be able to kill this guy or if I'm going to be so distraught that I'm not going to be able to fire it. I'd love to start over here. Is he going to break through the door? Okay, we no longer feel nauseous. That's good. Let's go ahead and eat real quick while we're feeling a little better. No, that's okay. Okay, we've got to fight this guy. Wow, we are damaged. Um, out of pistol ammo. Yeah, but we do have 15 rounds in it, correct? We do. 15 rounds. We have absolutely no like skill in firearms. I'm not sure if this is even going to work. I feel like my only chance of survival is getting that door open. I bet there's a lighter in there and everything. Um, we just got to fight this one zombie off. There might be one or two more zombies down here though. We don't really know what to expect. Um, I mean, I don't know. Part of me wants to like just ignore it, grab my backpack and head to the pharmacy, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not going to encounter any zombies there, but I do know that there'll definitely be antibiotics there. Oh boy. Choices. We dropped everything, huh? I'm thinking, why don't we go to the pharmacy? And then we can come back to the evac shelter. But I'm going to keep the pistol out. What is that? Oh, thank God, it's a dog. Oh, boy, it's really cold, though. We're really tired. I'd love to sleep in here. Emergency message. Disable external power. Contact us. Quit and shut down. What happens if I contact us? Uh, any feedback? Okay. Now, the console should actually... actually technically should produce some light I might be able to craft some stuff that can help me hand wraps sling cloth bandana pouch simple patchwork scarf a turban would protect my head more coverage 50 percent but a nice bit of warmth so let's go ahead and put that on okay we're a little bit warmer now just wait for my body to warm up yeah, that's what's nice about the consoles. They generate some light. Maybe this evac shelter would make a good home. I don't even know, though. It all depends on whether or not I'm going to survive that long. I see it put the refugee center up here. We didn't have much luck last time with refugee centers, so... We still definitely need to hit that pharmacy. How is it outside now? Still snowing and pretty cold. Our mouth gets pretty cold in our legs. What else could I craft that might help? Keep hitting the wrong button here. Ah, there we go. Paper arm guards, paper leg guards. Our legs and our mouth. The bandana's not helping? What if I put the dusk mask on too? 
That should help a little bit. Now our legs. What are we... What is this? What are we actually wearing for clothing? Okay, our pants. And a long sleeve shirt, torso. Emergency jacket, military rucksack, turban, pair of reading glasses, bandana, and a dusk mask, long sleeve shirt, pair of working gloves, boxer shorts, pants, pair of socks, pair of boots. What else do I have for armor? That's an option. Legs, cargo shorts, loincloth, denim shorts, leather loincloth, pair of paper leg guards, warmth five. Wool loincloth. Paper duct tape. Okay, so there's really not all that much. Um, Your face feels numb. Yeah, I wonder why. Well, it's still snowing, but the temperature is rising. It's starting to get a lot more light out. I'm very tired, but at this point, it's probably just best that I wait to the daytime. Maybe. Oh, it's rising because I'm inside. I'd love to go downstairs, but I just don't know what to expect. I really shouldn't just be sitting and waiting here. The pharmacy is really probably my best option. Oh, okay, we're a little bit warmer, so we're going to go ahead and make a, a beeline to the pharmacy. Yep, I think that's our best uh, option. Okay, hopefully that dog leaves us alone. Should, but you never know. Maybe we'll find a lighter in a car on the road. It's always a possibility. I'm like super nervous right now because it's been a lot. It's been a while since I've had such a rough playthrough. Um, I, uh, not saying that I don't have rough playthroughs, but uh, it's exciting almost. It's like exhilarating because it's like the challenge. I love the challenge. It gets me going. <laughs> it gets me all excited because it's just trying to stay alive. I wonder if there's anything at the end of this road that's not marked. I bet there is. There's definitely something here. There's no way this road just leads to nowhere. There's got to be a building here. We can see the road, but we don't see what kind of building's here. Hoping it's something I can warm up in. Please be like a nice house or something. Something with no zombies. Oh, it's a dead end. And worse yet, daytime's coming and there's a boomer right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's hordes everywhere. Oh, pawn shop right there though. That's a pretty good find. We got to hurry up and move before daytime comes or We're gonna get seen and we're gonna be in trouble. Let's get inside this house Please, please, please Crap I might have to head back to the evac shelter. I don't think it's safe here. Where's that zombie? Okay, he doesn't see us All right change of plans. We're heading back to the evac shelter we don't want to hit a place like this until it's night time. Where the heck is the Mego? You've got to be kidding me. What a joke. This has been like the worst playthrough in my entire <laughs> life. Zombie cop. All right. So we're trapped between an Amigo and a zombie cop. I passed all of this earlier. Now I can't even bother to get near it. Oh, we've got to head to that evac shelter. Zombie. I'm just trying to maneuver. I'm in no condition to be fighting anything right now. We're also very thirsty. We should go ahead and drink some water. What the heck is up here? Oh boy. Okay, dogs are one thing. A pack of dogs are another. And they are tracking right now. It's possible they might take on a zombie. I've seen it happen. We're in a very bad spot right now. Hmm, I do not know what to do. And those hordes are moving towards me. They heard that window smash in that house, by the way. That's why they're doing that. Oh, the pharmacy. We won't be able to hit the pharmacy until nighttime. But there is a pawn shop there and a hardware store. Very important. Sporting goods store as well. Oh, this is a tough, tough, tough playthrough. I 
I almost rather take my chances with the dogs. I know the Migo will fight other zombies, but... Why is there a zombie cop in the middle of nowhere? If that zombie cop wasn't there, this wouldn't be a problem. I might just have to go around the pack of dogs. But... The chances of them, if I see them moving towards me, I'm gonna... Book it. It's okay. Acidic zombie. Yep, we can't fight that. Please tell me he didn't see me. He didn't. He's up there, though. Oh, I bet you guys are loving this right now. Nothing more entertaining than watching somebody suffer. And I am suffering. Okay, those the, the zombie cop, what's he doing? Okay, he's fighting a wolf. Now's our chance. Okay, the wolf won. Oh, no, he didn't. The wolf didn't win. However, they're about to win, and it's a pack of wolves, and they are swarming that zombie cop. I want nothing to do with that. But then there's an amigo. He doesn't see me. Which means we're just going to go just like this. And we're going to pray that the wolf and the zombie cop keep fighting while we just kind of walk past. Alright. Just keep fighting. Okay, the dogs are getting in on it. The zombie cop killed the wolves, surprisingly. The wolves are very injured right now. That's good, but the dog's now moving in on the zombie cop. Just let that be a thing. And let's let it not involve us. Yeah. Yeah, the dogs are now fighting the zombie cop. That's... I am perfectly okay with that. It has nothing to do with me. We're going to head back to the evac shelter. And we're going to think about what we need to do here. The evac shelter was a lot safer than anything else. Oh! Oh! Okay, this is a good find. This is a very good find. What do we got here? Okay, methamphetamines. Now might be a good time to get into drugs. And some good clothing too. Well, it's all damaged, but... It's better than nothing, but this is a good chance to find... It's all low grade. Maybe find a gun? What is this? Modern take on a traditional weapon that originated in Nepal, featuring a heavy blade with an inward curved edge is used as both a tool and a weapon. Um, bash 2, but it's got a cut of 20. That is a great weapon. We're going to take that. Spitter zombie, where are you? Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Hopefully fighting something. Baseball bat. Okay, yeah, spitter zombie's fighting the dog. We might be fighting that spitter zombie in a second. Pair of brass knuckles. The dog dies, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode off here. We are out of time. Um... This is rough. This is rough, but we we made it. We survived an episode, so that's good. Uh, next time, I think we're just going to go downstairs and shoot that zombie, and then we might have to fight that acidic zombie. I really don't know. We're just going to have to start shooting um, because I need to see what's in the basement. I need a lighter. I need something to clean this infection. Ah, and then um, we're still we're not going to be able to hit that pharmacy until nighttime, so that's kind of where we stand. However, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.